Grab your trench coats and fedoras, folks, because we've got a brand new Resident Evil game on the way featuring a new cast of characters, four-player co-op, and cybernetically controlled tyrants. Hey, dudes and dudettes, I'm Derek with Game Somniac, and today we're going to be taking a look at Capcom's latest Resident Evil title, Project Resistance. Do you like our videos? Do you want to see more of our content? Well then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified whenever we upload something new. Now before we get too deep into the topic at hand, I want everybody to be on an even level playing field, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the official teaser trailer released by Capcom on Monday. Here we go! Peggy 18 Now the key things that you should have noticed were laboratory, possibly underground, four heroes, kids, possibly college students, classic monsters, zombies, liquors, and tyrant, and a shadowy figure acting like Albert Wesker if he got a job as game master at an escape room. These four elements make up the trailer, but what does it all mean? What is Project Resistance? The teaser unfortunately doesn't give us much to hold on to in terms of understanding what the game is, but all that's going to be answered at the Tokyo Game Show this year when Capcom unveils gameplay from the new project. Right now, the only takeaway that we have is that Project Resistance will be a Horde-style video game, much like that of Left 4 Dead and Killing Floor, taking place somewhere in the Resident Evil universe. More than likely, there will be four-player co-op, hopefully with the option to play solo in an offline mode, either with or without bots aiding you, and it looks like you'll be able to use melee weapons such as baseball bat or spiked stick as seen in the trailer. Now, this isn't the first time Capcom has dabbled in local and online multiplayer gameplay, but my question is whether or not the game will be perceived in the first or third person. Given the success of games like Left 4 Dead and Killing Floor, as well as the success of Resident Evil 7, I would not be surprised to see Capcom returning to the first person view. But that's not to say that the third person perspective hasn't looked good on the Resident Evil series since the beginning. This could easily end up being something similar to Operation Raccoon City or even Resident Evil Outbreak. Some fans are hoping that Project Resistance at its core is the true Outbreak File 3, while others believe that this is the 8th canonical title in the series. Even with the teaser, we still have no idea if this is a spin-off or really what this project is at all. Now my personal theory after seeing the teaser is that Project Resistance is in fact another Outbreak scenario taking place during the events of Raccoon City. The player will control one of four survivors, all whom seem to be college students attending Raccoon City University, and guide them through the hellacious nightmare starting on the blood-soaked streets of Raccoon City City, slowly making their way down into one of the many Umbrella Hive facilities where true horror awaits them. Now I can't say much about the shadowy figure in the control room, I'm sure a lot of people want it to be Albert Wesker and maybe that's what the game is alluding to. If the game does take place during the events of Raccoon City, it's, it's at least possible that this could be Wesker. I mean, he would have still been alive at this time, and other games have actually shown Wesker during the Raccoon City outbreak, watching the city, monitoring the outbreak from afar at an undisclosed location, which we can't really pinpoint where this shadowy figure is, if he's in the same laboratory, or even in the same city as the survivors. I mean, he could be anywhere. Now, I don't necessarily think it's Wesker, because at the time of the Raccoon City outbreak, his main concern was obtaining a sample of of the G virus, so putting what seems to be four college kids through a BOW infested maze really doesn't seem like the best use of his time. 
Granted, Wesker was monitoring the outbreak for research purposes. It was through that research he's able to obtain combat data on all the BOWs, but it seems very unlikely that the four survivors would be a part of that because you have this whole city that's just going to hell, uh, providing you with a shit ton of data. So again, I don't think it's Wesker, but at this point, it really could be anybody. I will say, however, that Albert Wesker is more of a sit back and watch the show kind of villain, and not so much one to participate. Unless either A, you're Chris Redfield, or B, the plans no longer going according to plan. This shadowy fiend was very involved as soon as he sat down at the monitor. In the trailer, he flips two switches, one controlling the door, the other one labeled weapons, which then turns on a device on the floor, which I can only assume emits sonic vibrations, attracting both zombies and the liquors. Devices like these may be seen throughout the game as traps, but could be used to the player's advantage by destroying them, taking out a number of enemies in close proximity. Now, in the final shot of the trailer, we see the unknown antagonist don a pair of mechanical gloves lighting up in bright red LEDs upon Upon activation. The same bright red LED lights can be seen in the eyes of a T-103 series tyrant. This leads us to believe that the man in the control room is able to control the tyrant remotely, choreographing its every move with the electronic devices attached to his hands. Now this is actually kind of cool because we've never really seen anybody control the tyrants in the games previously. The tyrants have always had the capability of being programmed, including the nemesis, and all actions have been monitored and recorded, but we've never directly seen anybody take control of a tyrant using any kind of remote electronic device. Device. The trailer ends with the T-103 Tyrant standing in front of our protagonist's only way out, before revealing the actual gameplay footage of the game will be shown at this year's Tokyo Game Show. Now, if you're a local resident of Japan, you too can play the demo with advanced registration, and everybody else, you just get to watch. We've reached the part of the video, guys and gals, where I want to hear from you! Are you excited for the new Resident Evil title, and what do you think of the 4-player co-op style gameplay? What do you want out of this new Resident Evil title? Are you excited after seeing the teaser trailer? Let us know in the comments below what your expectations are for the new Resident Evil title, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now is the most excellent time to do so. Plus, if you act now, you'll receive all of our newest content for free, right after clicking the bell which notifies you as soon as we upload something new. For all of your Resident Evil gaming news and more, keep it locked right here at Gamesomniac. Bye bye